I hope you all are doing well and staying safe in this second wave of COVID-19. So today we will discuss a very important issue that what are the mistakes that you should avoid if you are in second MBBS student and this is in relation to today's scenario that is partial lockdown and then again maybe your offline class may start in the next month maybe so let's focus on this okay so before that i have already told you that regular quizzes are being conducted on my instagram page abhi inflammation pe quiz chal rahi hai okay so do not forget to follow and hit the bell icon there as well hai na so that you can uh, uh, take participate in this quizzes and also can win reward link is in description okay or you can search med dot shots so now let's proceed to what the, what are the mistakes so the first mistake is turning your back to microbiology now what does this mean is in first year also aap logo ne anatomy and physiology you have studied it very well but when it comes to biochemistry you have ignored it completely okay in the similar manner microbiology is also shorter than you know patho and pharmacology but it is very volatile hai na uh, if you will study it just few months before your exams thinking that bacteria tabhi ho jayenge it will become very difficult because there will be so much information that you won't be able to process so what i would advise you is if you study any amount of hours suppose if you study for 4 hours a day then you have to divide it 50% in your patho or pharma 30% in patho pharma but always give this 20% to microbiology what will this uh, lead to you is ki basically agar aap din ka ek bacteria karte ho okay so now you have to make one chart in which you will completely you know fill up all the information of that bacteria like what is its classification morphology culture biochemical reaction viability virulence disease pathogenesis lab diagnosis and treatment okay so these are you know you have to make one chart for an entire organism and you have to stick it to your wall or keep it to yourself and you have to revise it frequently it will hardly take one month to prepare all the charts of microbiology or to go through microbiology okay but this repetitive revision is what will save your time yadi aap abhi shuru ka time isko nahi denge sirf aakhri mein uthayenge so this will be very hectic for you although you will be uh, easily making out that how to study it during exams but it won't be that much beneficial if you won't study it from the starting so please follow this thing and make charts and regarding the diseases which are important at your level in microbiology again you need to make the same chart like if i say what are the gastrointestinal infections so you need to know which are the organism involved in git infection okay now you need to make a list of the organisms their pathogenesis their incubation period their lab d their prevention and control so ultimately this everything will stay the same so you need to very importantly make this you can screenshot this and you need to make this for every bacteria okay and these are the infection which you need to mainly focus upon and once you are thorough with these infection along with those bacteriological property microbiology is a piece of cake for you now next thing is not focusing on clinical question in first year also you had clinical questions in your syllabus i don't know did you did or not but what is important is in second year suppose you are studying angina whatever you are studying you will find clinical questions either from your coaching or from internet which will be linked okay so now what will happen is ki agar aap angina ka pathology padhoge it will linked with angina pharmacology as well as angina medicine okay so this will help you in studying higher concepts i can't say that you should watch angina from medicine right now because you are having less time but what you can do is you can integrate this is what is important okay you can integrate your a normal pathology pharmacology with medicine surgery via clinical questions so that will also help you give a better you know preparation as well as that will also help you understand how you see the patients okay so do never think that mera pura 100% syllabus ho jayega tabhi main clinical question karunga hai na abhi kya hoga ki if i start solving cvs then i won't be getting the drugs so that will take time but you have to learn through questions aap question karo aapse nahi banega no issues just go through the explanation learn that theory and practice it more frequently so focus on clinical questions then the next thing is time is gold now what does this mean is you are having less time you know it so now you need to also focus upon learning high yield content rather than just keep working hard now what does this mean is suppose aapne inflammation ek mahina laga diya par bahut acche se you have mastered it but on the same note you have left entire second volume of robins so is that equivalent no okay you need to understand that all the inflammation is important but first of all what you should do is you should at least do a layer of everything 
like you should at least study everything from notes then you should come to robins or like that or if you are studying notes plus robins then you should know that in your mind that you can't be giving so much time in a single topic just to get it mastered because you are having less time so what you need to do is next point that sometimes what happens is this is a partial mistake what happens that now you are studying anything like in pathology pharmacology you are just focusing on notes aapse textbooks padhte nahi ban raha because you don't have that much time so that is acceptable it is not your mistake don't worry that okay i am not reading textbook although textbooks are irre irreplaceable but sometimes what happen is ki when syllabus is so large you need to first of all go through the basic details so uske liye aap notes banate ho aap notes acche se karte ho और टेक्सट बुक का एक्सप्लेनेशन जितना आप पढ़ पाते हो कर पाते हो ओके बट समाइम इवन इफ यू नॉट लाइक आई आई कैन रिमाइंड यू ऑफ माय टाइम सो एट दैट टाइम दैट बोन ट्यूमर एंड मिसलेनियस टॉपिक इन पैथोलॉजी आई नेवर स्टडीड इट फ्रॉम एनी बुक बिकॉज देर वाज नो टाइम लेफ्ट ओके सो जस्ट नोट वर सफिशियंट फॉर दैट सो यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट ऑल दो टेक्सट बुक्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बट इट इज द टाइम इट इज द नीड ऑफ द आवर दैट इवन इफ यू डोंट हैव दैट मच टाइम टू गो फ्रॉम द बुक्स जस्ट फोकस ऑन योर नोट्स सॉल्व क्वेश्चन जो उनका एक्सप्लेनेशन टेक्स्ट रहता है कहीं पे भी आप क्वेश्चन बैंक देखेंगे द एक्सप्लेनेशन टेक्स्ट इज डिटो लाइंस ऑफ अ बुक सो दैट विल हेल्प यू कवर योर बुक है ना एंड देन यू कैन ऐड वॉट एवर नोट्स यू वांट सो दिस इज द नेक्स्ट मिस्टेक आई शुड से पार्शियल मिस्टेक देन नेक्स्ट थिंग इज नेवर रिवाइजिंग दिस विल रिमेन कॉन्स्टेंट यू विल स्टडी एवरीथिंग बट यू वॉन्ट रिवाइज एवरीथिंग एंड देन यू विल फॉरगेट एवरीथिंग ओके सो यू नीड टू रिवाइज एटलीस्ट थर्टी मिनट्स अ डे वॉट टाइम यू आर स्टडिंग प्लीज टेक आउट सम टाइम फॉर रिवाइजिंग and revise in a smart manner like i said make charts for microbiology to roz ka ek chart hi revise kar liya hai na similarly you can also make some charts for pharma and patho hai na in which you will explain entire pathogenesis or entire drugs classification on a single sheet so practice it more frequently and that's how you should revise so all in all this was just more, uh, very prominent five mistakes which i thought students commit if you have some more mistakes or query kindly comment below i will surely answer this time and then i will end the video with this quote that your will to win is greater than the disbelief anyone is putting in you okay so don't worry about whatever times are there whatever time you have whatever different difficult scenario is going on you should believe in yourself and you should keep going instead of thinking that how fast you are going so nobody should try and stop you okay so that's all and do not forget to follow me on med shot and whatever query you have kindly comment below subscribe to the channel and share to your friends thank you so much stay safe stay healthy